Hello viewers from across the interwebs and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little bit of time since my last video and that's mainly due to the fact that I am in university so it takes up a lot more of my time and in turn I have less time to make videos which is very unfortunate but nevertheless I am here right now to deliver you some AI news. A lot is going on. This space is evolving so crazy fast. I'm sure all of you know that, especially those of you that are in my Discord server, which is linked down in the description below, by the way. It seems like almost every day there's some new little project being worked on or some new update to an existing AI. And this one was brought to my attention about a week ago, and I just think I really have to talk about it because it is promising so so much and it's kind of a viral tweet as you can see we had 2,000 retweets on this over 13,000 likes so this is definitely blowing up and this was September 9th okay so it wasn't a week ago exactly but yeah about five days ago or so this was announced and I will link it down in the description by the way but this promises to be a text to video coming soon to runway and we're going to break this whole a minute long video down because i think it's very important to distinguish and break down stuff like this it's just crazy they say make any idea real just write it text a video coming soon and then they link this website which we will also take a look at in this video of course i've already signed up for the beta waitlist as i do with every single beta waitlist anyways let's observe and comment with our AI eyeballs on this particular video here. Okay, so I will play this video. This is a box, a magical box. This box can make any idea real. So already breaking that first little bit down, it says it's a magical box where you can type anything. I mean, we all know the text prompt box. It's with so many AIs, any of the, the text to image uh, generators, as a matter of fact, they have that magic box where, you know, it's just text to whatever. And of course, this is promising to be text to video. However, I want you to notice here uh, what it says. It doesn't say generate, like it says import. So this means that they're importing the city street. They're not actually generating this city street. So you know, I'm in the belief here that the city street we're looking at in this video is not an AI generated city street. It's a video that they've recorded at some point and it just is a file on the computer. So maybe what the AI is doing is it's analyzing the fact that that is a city street or, you know, it's it's getting it from somewhere else on the web and grabbing it and just putting it in. Either way, it does seem like a really cool concept, even if it, the video um, this particular one isn't fully AI generated. Being able to just type in a box, say, I want a city street footage, and then having it just automatically splash right onto your screen. So moving on with the video, we can continue to play it, and we see now they're typing something else. Make it look cinematic, and it automatically adjusts the color of the video to look more cinematic. So really what they're displaying to us right now is not necessarily AI video generation. We're just looking at AI video editing. So the AI is interpreting the text and adjusting specific settings on the video clip, which is still really, really cool, and I actually really love this idea. Idea. And now this next part is really particularly interesting. It highlights this entire poll and says removed this object. So that is some serious AI work right there. You know, not only the technology capabilities to just highlight an object like that really simply, but the AI's capabilities to completely remove it from the rest of the video footage. And obviously that should take some processing time, so it's not going to be so seamless as they display it in here, but... Still, that is another really cool concept and definitely one that's, I think, a lot more difficult to implement than just adjusting some settings or grabbing a video clips from somewhere. Full object removal in video is not uh, an easy task by any means. Object removal in photos, which we already see with stuff like Dolly 2's in painting or Stable Diffusion in painting, you know, that's that's something that's a lot easier. But, you know, frame after frame to keep it look consistent, that is some powerful AI stuff right there and is shockingly mind blowing. We'll have to see how well it actually works. So next they follow up and it says generate a lush garden. So the fact that they said generate here means that now we're seeing something that is 
AI generated. And as you can see, there's four different tabs that they scroll through. So you can pick between the lush gardens. And yeah, these are all obviously very much AI generated photos. And in fact, I would like to say that, you know, this isn't some in-house image generation AI that they are using for this technology. This is definitely an AI that's different. I don't know. Maybe some of these are Dolly 2. Maybe some of them are Stable Diffusion. We don't really know exactly what they are using, but it's definitely not something in-house, at least in my opinion. We don't really know, but it definitely seems as though that is the case as they scroll through these. And also, it's important to note that what we're seeing here when you say generate a lush garden, it's not generating actual video. It's generating just straight up images. So I'm not seeing any moving generated video so far with this. Although, you know, these are some nice generations. It says scale and over time. Again, similar to the color thing, when you say scale and over time, the AI is interpreting that text and just zooming the image in. It's not actually, you know, generating anything based off of this image. It's just adjusting some settings in the video editor. I just think that some people might be a little misled by this. And fade in infinite worlds. Again, that's just adjusting settings. Still really cool stuff. Now they're showing off something, again, that is very, very impressive. A lot more impressive than just adjusting basic settings. So they import another video, and then it says green screen character. That's pretty much all they say here. Fully green screens the character that's in there. So that's that's really cool technology if it really works that well. I can say, just make this guy a green screen. Do it for me. That would be awesome and definitely would be a lot easier than trying to do it in any normal video editing software. Blur the background, and then they show off a little bit more of the image generation, and then they give us a little sneak peek of what the app might look like. So I think this is already something they do. I, I'm not sure. We're going to go take a look at the Runway website, but I'm pretty sure it already is some video editing software. So, you know, they're just integrating a basic AI feature into their video editor software, it seems. Edit video using text. Generate video using text. Make video using text. So again, they, they use that word generate in there, not just editing. So we will see if they're really doing text to video and they say get early access at their website. And of course, I signed up when I first found out about this and they say fade out. Yes, talk about something that is very intriguing, especially to me as a YouTuber who edits videos almost every day. I actually already do use an AI to help edit my videos. It's called Descript. You can find an affiliate link down in the description for it. Um, basically, what it does is it transcribes your entire video of you talking and then edits out all the little pauses and stuff, and you can remove specific words and stuff like that. So yeah, I already do actually use an AI to edit videos or help me edit videos, but this looks like it's something a lot more powerful and can do stuff like green screen. So let's take a look this at the website, which I, ooh, it's already started playing again. Let's take a look at the website. As you can see, it's called Runway here. Text to video early access. So they really are just calling it text to video. It really is text to video editing from what I can tell from that little video. And they also have a clip here of it working in real time. Um, you know, it definitely does still look like it's really cool, but is it really generating video text to video generation? Is, th is that going to be available? And they have join the wait list here. So yeah, then it's like this Google form and I've already filled all this out, but it will be linked down below so you guys can sign up for early access. Here we can take a little bit more of an in-depth look here. Edit video in seconds powered by mind-blowing AI tools. So remove video backgrounds here. And apparently I think this one is already working. And uh, in painting, as you can see, is also a feature down in here. Paint out objects. Yeah, that is the in painting. And it says try it for free. So yeah, they already have an editing program that works in browser apparently. So if we click create your first project and then go to in painting, which is AI stuff, Let's try out some of these demo assets. So we've got this moose video. I'm going to go ahead and just drop in here and brush over an area to begin in painting. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to increase this size. Let's delete this moose. Goodbye, moose. We'll see how well this works. I I'm surprised that we already have access to in painting in here. This is very surprising. By the way, this is a very, very difficult in painting task here for an AI to do. This is not easy by any means. So if it's not perfect, I'm not gonna really be giving it too much crap for that. Oh, all right, we've erased the full moose here. And now we can see it's really trying to, to do some in painting here. And we'll take a pre of this. So, wow, that actually is working shockingly well. I am 
genuinely shocked by that. Wow. So it's processing it as it's going here. We can still see the moose's shadow in there, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, that worked pretty darn good, especially with this really, really highly difficult use case here of deleting an entire moose from the scene, which is the subject. Deleting a subject from a scene like this, that is hard. And I mean, obviously it's not perfect or anything. It's not going to be able to pick up on all this, but that is really, really good. Wow. I am actually blown away. That's very, very good. It's completely inpainted a moose. I mean, you can see it's it's definitely not perfect. Play the video here, though. You can see the moose's shadow moving, and it was able to track the moose as well as he bends down and moves around and everything. But that's pretty good for, for deleting an entire character from a background there. Shocking. Let's try this dancer clip here. Let's see if we can do anything fun with this. So they've got a cool, they've got cool filters in here as well. I don't think all of these are AI or anything like that. So this is the AI magic tools here. The motion tracking is coming soon, but we've got green screen. So let's green screen this guy out. Again, this is going to be very difficult. Like this is not an easy task to green screen a guy out of something that shouldn't even be green screen in the first place. Okay, so it's actually doing a pretty decent job so far. See, so can we get the shoe there? It's doing a pretty good job selecting the correct areas. We just sort of click around here. And now we can preview and see if it green screens this guy out. Wow, okay, it's doing a darn good job. This is very shocking. Look at it. That's pretty darn good. You can put whatever you want in there. Or I guess we could remove the background and put this guy wherever we want. He's not even against a green screen. You know, we've got settings for feathering and stuff. You guys familiar with actual stuff like this? Wow, yeah, there we go. We can fully green screen this guy out. Done masking. Okay. We'll, we'll be done masking here. So now let's overlay this clip of this dancer where the moose should be. So we've removed the moose and replaced him with the dancer. And it's taking a little long to load, but it does it pretty quickly. There we go. <laughs> He's here. Man, this is incredible. There he is. He's doing some dancing where the moose should be. Wow, okay, that's pretty incredible. That's very, very impressive. So yeah, text to video editing. I mean, it's already starting to become here. That was incredibly easy to just mask this guy out and delete the moose and it worked pretty darn well. These are both very difficult use cases. So yeah, this it looks actually very promising. I was a little skeptical. I knew the AI video editing would be pretty decent. I wasn't expecting it to be this good though. That is shockingly good. And um, yeah, this video editing software using AI looks very, very promising indeed. Yeah, sign up for this if you guys are interested. And uh, yeah, please join my Discord if you want the latest in AI news. Definitely get to subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And definitely check out some of my other videos. I try my best to produce great videos for you guys covering all sorts of AI topics, talking about the latest cutting edge AI stuff. Uh, definitely some other very interesting AIs on the horizon as well that are coming up in some future videos. So yeah, get subscribed, thanks for watching, and goodbye.